Welcome to Ham Radio K0PIR. And now that I've got my Tar Heel mounted on the rear of my Hummer, it's time to do some bonding. I drilled some holes in the door and the body of the vehicle. I'm going to do a little bit at a time. Got my radio mounted inside. And I decided to make my own bonding straps because the ones I saw online didn't look uh, like they were very wide. And uh, I've been told or I've heard that uh, the wider the strap, the better. So I picked up some uh, copper lugs at Menards. Those are about six fifty a pop. And I have some leftover uh, bonding straps, uh, about an inch wide. And I'm going to use it. Real easy to do. It fits in those lugs uh, really snug. And when I crimp it down with the hammer and screwdriver, it's a tight fit. Then I use a blowtorch and some solder to make a really good connection. When I wrap it up with that tape, that tape will melt onto the lugs if it's still hot. And then I drop a little bit of liquid tape uh, in there just to make sure no moisture can get in. But this is a real uh, easy project. There's a... Uh, uh, I've noticed a big benefit from uh, doing it. The uh, receiver is quieter, there's less engine noise, and uh, I think that uh, on the transmit, I don't get as much noise into my speaker. That's something I'll, I'll have to continue to work on. But anyway, that's what it looks like with the lug on the end and uh, crimped on uh, with the screwdriver and the hammer. Then all I do is use a blowtorch and drop a little solder in it, make a good connection, and wrap it up with the electrical tape while it's still hot and melts on there. And then I put a little liquid tape uh, on the end just to seal it up really good. Okay, here's the finished product. This is the driver's side rear door on a Hummer H3 and uh, I'm gonna have to do another one at the other hinge I'm gonna try to do two on each door this is the passenger side rear door and again uh, I think uh, this is a good way to go I think it's probably better than buying the pre-built straps also did the exhaust and uh, put one towards the end uh, right at that hanger. Actually goes from the, uh, the frame to the clamp on the steel exhaust. And then I have another one up at the other hanger. And this really helped a lot. It goes from the frame to that other clamp. And this really did help a lot with the engine noise. I noticed it right off the bat. Here's another look at the rear one. I'll have to take a look at that in another six months to see how well that holds up. Here's the hood. I did this one a while back. I don't really uh, like that. I'll have to do it again. I'm going to do it on the other side too. This is uh, one that I made. Uh, a little bit longer one. It goes from the alternator all the way over to the uh, frame of the vehicle, body of the vehicle. That's the engine compartment. Still got a lot of work to do, but uh, it has made an improvement already. There's the Tar Heel. I've got some cable management to do. I'm going to fix that up a little bit more. It's a good looking Tar Heel. It's one of the older ones, probably a 2000, 2003. Got a capacitance hat on the top. That does a good job. Got a strap on that side. And uh, that mount holds up really well. Thanks for watching. 73 Good DX.